My brother-in-law, Tim, and his wife, Missy, are hosting Turkey Day today. Now, Missy's gonna be responsible for the whole turkey spread. So I am gonna take a ham, not just any ham. This glazed ham is out of this world flavorful, and that's partly because of the glaze. The glaze starts with a cup of brown sugar and the juice and zest of three oranges. This is a lot of orange zest. I've also got a bunch of grated garlic, a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to give it a nice bite. And then I love the flavor of grainy brown mustard. I've got about a fourth a cup. Now for even more flavor, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of paprika and the same amount of chili powder. And then of course some salt and pepper, just a healthy pinch of both. And then I'll stir this around and turn the heat to medium high. You know, it's pretty standard to have a ham on the side of a traditional turkey dinner. I'm using a spiral cut ham, which makes it easy when it comes to serving up. The pieces are already sliced. Okay, now I need to let this glaze cook. I'm gonna stir it occasionally until it's nice and thick. It'll take about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off and check out this glaze. It's really gotten thick in the saucepan. So now I can glaze the ham for the first stage of baking. I put the spiral cut ham cut side down on a roasting rack and I'm gonna brush half of this glaze all over the ham. Now what I like to do is kind of use my fingers to spread apart the slices here and there and just try to tuck as much glaze as I can inside the slices. And that way when the ham bakes in the oven, the slices kind of separate out on the edges. Oh, the result is a miracle. You gotta trust me on this. Now I'm gonna tent the ham with foil, but first I wanna add some water to the pan just to make sure everything stays nice and moist. Okay. Just put the foil around the edges of the pan. I'm gonna get this into the oven at 325 degrees for the first stage. So let me pick up the story from there. So I was baking the ham, and after 90 minutes time, I turned the heat up to 375 degrees, removed the foil, brushed on the other half of the glaze, baked it for 15 minutes, basted it, and put it back in for another 15 minutes. And after all that baking and glazing, this happened. It was the big ham moment as I opened the oven to reveal a gorgeous caramelized glazed ham. Oh my goodness, it's a thing of beauty. And then I just put it on a platter ready to cover with foil and take to Missy's to be devoured by the Drummonds. <laughs>